guys, welcome to day two of our 30 day challenge. So we are focusing on the upper body today. So as I said yesterday, that we're kind of building from the ground up. So it's gonna get more intense. With this workout, however, if you've been working with me a long time, you can just go for it on the exercises. You might wanna do a quick warm up if that's the case. So I would pause this, do your warm up, and then come back. If you are kind of building your way into it, you're just gonna go with me and we can increase the intensity as we go through each interval. So you're gonna start, also I should say, this is Bailey, if anyone hasn't met him. <laughs> Hopefully he's gonna behave and he's just gonna play with his toy, but we'll see. Right, we're gonna start with a walk out. So you're gonna walk out into a tall plank position and then you're gonna walk back towards your toes. So each time you do this, try and alternate which hand you're starting with. You're ending in that good tall plank position, coming back. If this already is too much for you, you're just gonna to come to your knees, walk out as far as you can or as far as your dog is, and then come back and again, change hands. Make sure you're not locking your elbows out. So nice soft bend in the elbows. Core is tight here. You're trying to keep your hips still. Good. So we're really focusing on form here. So I use this as a warm up exercise in a lot of the stuff I do. So it's just activating. Do your last one. Good, perfect. So we're now into shoulder taps. So you can start off on your knees like me, or if you've been with me a while, you can come straight up into plank. Shoulder tap, so opposite hand to shoulder. So here, we're really trying to keep our hips still. So think belly button to spine. There is a tea tray, a stack of books, whatever you like, on your back, and you're not rocking your hips around, so hips are staying parallel to the floor. Not locking out in the elbows. Now, if you want to try, you're with me on your knees. If you want to make this more intense, just push your bum down a little bit. If you still feel good here, and you feel like your hips are really still, Come into that tall plank position. The wider your feet are, the easier it's gonna to be to keep your hips still. If you just come up with me in plank, remember to keep breathing. So the goal is to keep your hips still. So you can go as fast as you like. Oh, <coughs> needed to cough. You can go as fast as you like, as long as your hips are still still. Good. So come down now to the belly. Hello, baby. <laughs> You're gonna pop your head on the mat, but keep looking at me for now. Hands are gonna slide in line with the chest. Feet and pelvis push firmly into the floor. <laughs> Elbows squeeze into your side. Now leave my hair alone. You're gonna squeeze your elbows in, really push your hands into the floor. So keep looking down. He's got a thing for my ponytail. Hey there, Bailey, where's your toy? Okay, play with that. So keep pushing your hands into the floor. The work is not happening in your lower back, it's happening in your triceps. So really small movement, it's half the way up. So this would be the full way, this is half. Good, okay, keep going. Should be really feeling this now in your elbows. So triceps. Elbows are tucked in. 10 seconds. And Bailey's got his toys label, rest. Now, we're coming to a press up. So, if you wanna go ahead of us, you know what you're doing in a press up, you're doing 10 reps three times three. So you're having a rest in between. So just stay with me for that. If we are new to this or coming up, we're gonna try a box press up first. 
So come to all fours position. If you're on your mat like me, create an L shape with your fingers. That underneath your shoulders is the width of our arms. So chest is gonna come almost to the floor, come up. So we're gonna go for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Good, take a little rest off the wrists. Now, if that was challenging for you, stay there for the next two sets. If you think, oh, I could do a little bit more, we're gonna come still on our knees, still same hand position, so that L shape, but you're gonna push your bum down. So we go from the box position, bum down. Now feet, I don't mind you, feet could be up, crossed, could be down, whatever you like. Make sure that your hands are still underneath your shoulders. I will confiscate that off Bailey. <laughs> and off we go, 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Rest. He always does this when I'm doing a video. He starts eating something that he shouldn't be and I have to prise it out of his mouth. Okay, so if you reckon you can do a little bit more or you are happy where you are, you know your options, we're doing a full press up if you want a little bit more. Full press up. Most important thing here is that you don't arch through the back. So I'll show you what that looks like. So when you get tired, your bum kind of dips down and you're hollowing through the lower back. If you're doing that, just come down to your knees. You're gonna get more work. So 10, set yourself up. Off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can hear these are getting hard for me now. Seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Good. Have a rest. Take a break off the wrist so you can do a couple of wrist circles. We're now doing a body weight shoulder press. So another one of my favorites. After Bailey's been playing with my hair, I've got like a 90s side pony going on now. So body weight shoulder press. So you're gonna come into a downward facing dog position. Hands are about the same width as they were in that press up. Downward facing dog position. Really important that you're looking towards your toes. Crown of the head comes down as your elbows push out. Now, straight away you could modify by coming to your knees, same as that box press up, looking at your knees, crown of the head goes down. Everybody's elbows push out. So your choice here as to whether you bend your knees or you keep your legs straight. For me, I need to bend them because my hamstrings are tight, which we all learned yesterday. Hello, leave my ponytail alone. Good. We are nearly there with this one. Bailey, leave it. Leave it, good boy. <laughs> Keep going. While you're going, I'm just gonna change to a bun. Okay, rest. We are doing a commando press up next. So another one of my favorites. I thought, ooh, I thought I'd do my favorite exercises. He's gone mad now. Oh, I left a bit more of his label with me. So the principle is, so if you're ready to go on your toes, you go ahead. Come to that box press up position. We're gonna put left forearm down, then right forearm down. Bring the left one up right one up, then we start right down, left down, right up, left up. So you keep alternating. 
Again, keeping your hips really still, not locking up through your elbows at the top. Hands coming underneath the shoulder. So I apologise if Bailey's distracting you. It's just if I keep him in the kitchen, he cries. <laughs> so it's the best solution, hey? Now, if you want to make this harder, walk your knees back. So we're in that modified press up now. And try and pick up the pace. Hips are super still, core is tight. And then if this still isn't enough for you, you can go up to your toes. Now don't worry, if I'm giving you these modifications and you're like, Hannah, I cannot do this. By the end of the 30 days, I promise you, you will be doing that. Last one. Okay, so we're coming to a lateral plank walk now. So I'm gonna use my mat, but if you're not using a mat, just use the space you've got. Probably do it over Bailey. So tall plank, you're going to walk your hand and your leg out at the same time as you're walking over. Whenever you get to the end of your space, you're just going to walk back. Now if already that is too much for you, I just want you to come into that modified position and you're going to walk your hands out, in, out, in. If that is too easy for you, come to your tall plank. If not, I'm back with that lateral plank, so the hand and the leg are moving at the same time. Really good plank posture. So tummy is tight, hands are coming underneath the shoulders, hips are as still as possible, crown of the head you're looking down. So I know I keep looking up to talk to you the screen, but you're looking down now you've got this. We are nearly there for today's workout. Got one more exercise after this one. And rest. So we're finishing off with a plank. So it's gonna be a whole minute of a plank, bleh, of a plank. <laughs> but we're coming to our forearms. So really important here that our arms stay parallel to each other. So they're not coming in, they stay parallel. Elbow underneath the shoulder. And then same for the other one. Now, we're gonna start with our knees down in a box position. You can start on your toes, remember? And here I want you to keep breathing, keep focusing on your arms. So check in with your alignment, elbows underneath shoulders, hands stay parallel. This, you need a little bit more fire, just bring your knees back, push your hips down. And it's like I'm trying to bring my upper abdominals and my lower abdominals in together. So my core is really strong. Nice flat back position. So if you want a little bit more for the last 30 seconds, curl the toes under and lift the knees up. Heels now really pushing back. You're not collapsing into the shoulder blades, so push away from the floor and you're looking directly between your hands. So you're probably shaking by now. Stick with me, we're nearly there. Five, four, three, two, one, and come down. Really good job today. So remember tomorrow for day three, the class is live on YouTube at 10 a.m. You don't need to do the whole hour if you don't want to, just join us for the finisher at the end and enjoy the rest of the day. Remember to take your brisk walk.